Did I see Dream on our hot bar? Oh my goodness! Oh! oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What is it? Is that Dream? Hey, in today's video, I spend 100 days in Minecraft with my best friends, Hacky and Sody Poppin. Now, this, uh, it's not just any normal 100 days Minecraft video, all right? In fact, uh, I created my very own custom mod pack that I like to call Josh Craft. Now, now, I'm pretty sure you're, you're thinking what kind of mods are in this, Josh. Like, what? Well, listen, I'm glad you asked because, well, I spent over 48 hours handpicking every single mod that I could find. And uh, perhaps you could say I, I added a, maybe a, just a bit too many mobs. But I mean, listen, there's everything from custom dragons to insane creepy lycanite mobs and, and bosses that will destroy you if, uh, if you're not careful. So, and I, I think I lost count of just how many different dimensions and worlds there are in this. Like, like just look at all the weight. I can't show you everything, man. I, I can't just spoil it for you, all this awesomeness, man. Listen, if you guys want to play along, you already know. Join my Discord. You can find the mod pack there. But anyways, let me tell you. Let me tell you this. You guys are about to witness a very, very wild 100 days in mod Minecraft journey. So make sure you got a snack and some water. And by the way, we do have a bunch of goals for this video, which... I will slowly reveal throughout the video. But my main goal is to just have fun with the homies, which there's proximity <laughs> chat, so you guys already know this is gonna be a great video. Oh, Subscribe God, and like funny. the video, and without like further ado, I present I to you torturing my God, friends with God. way too many insane- oh, Wait, wait, I mean, uh, spending 100 days with my friends in what I like to call Joshcraft. Let's go! Is that a three-headed chicken? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got three heads. Wait, 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 How is that wait. possible? Does he dream yeah. on a hot bar? Yeah. Oh, my oh, my oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Is that dream? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no, Sony. Oh, my gosh. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. Dream's after me. Welcome to Joshcraft, guys. As you can oh. see, uh, things are going to be crazy. Oh, well, um, uh, what do we do? He dropped He, he dropped ingots. Is this a blue cow? D diamond cow. <laughs> Watch out, mini creepers. Oh, no. There's there's mini creepers right here. They're so I tiny. Like a <laughs> Wait, a what? Block? A block? Like a Are you kidding cow? me? From a cow. Dude, from a cow. Are those. you kidding me? Where'd that come from? All right, this is too much to take in. I don't even know what to say. I I, I need I need some food, guys. I'm gonna die. Um, yeah. So just like that, we were thrown into the madness that is Josh Craft. And if you think that was a crazy start, just wait till you see what else goes on later in the video. But uh, after chopping down some trees and remembering that there was vein miner installed, we decided to speed run Dream. Ironic, right? Not not exactly what I was planning for for starting this video, but hey, we were figuring out things as we go, and uh, we spotted these totem structures in the sky, so we figured it would be a good idea to go see what was up with those first, and it was a good thing too because not only was there a totem and an enchanted golden apple in the chest, but the eyes of the totem structure were made out of emerald, so this was perfect oh gosh, considering we were about to face Dream, oh, and if this it. boss version of Dream was anything close to Dream's in-game skill then surely we were about to face a challenge. Hello. Bro, on the other side of you, Sodi is some sort of creepy alien. Is that Sodi at the top right there looking at us? Oh, it is. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. I thought he was oh. dead. <laughs> Hi, Dream. I think we could oh, kill Dream. Oh, he's got me. Oh, no. Sodi, no. Oh, no. I don't got oh, a no. bow. No. 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 We're okay. coming, Sodi. We're coming. Oh, no. You're fine. You're fine. You're oh, fine. No. You're fine. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, he's stuck with Dream. Oh, he oh, me TNT. Oh, oh, I did not expect that. Oh, what the? He's so. F oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's dropping stuff, but I'm dead. He's chasing me. Help. Gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna take the golden enchanted apple. Here, drop me a sword or something. I got an enchanted effect. Come here, Dream. Attack him. Oh, gosh. Oh, ah, yeah, this is impossible. He's too good. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh my gosh. I'm being chased by a demon. Kill it. Oh, we got him. I got scorch fireball charges. Wait, is Dream dead? Yeah, yeah, I got him. You got him? Did you get any loot? Uh, I'm not sure. Nothing crazy, I don't think. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's way too many weird things. Guys, oh. watch out! 
Oh no. Oh, I hit you, Sony, my bad. Yep. Just as I thought it was absolute oh, madness place. so far. The amount of Whoa. terrifying mobs that were spawning at night was not okay. So we thought it would be a good idea to go mining, you know, gear up because these mobs were no joke and uh, yeah, the caves weren't what necessarily a, a safe place to be either. Aki, though, was kind enough to craft us some emerald armor. And if you've seen any of my other videos, this is uh, a classic oh start for us. God. But at this time, this armor was not even that good compared to what's in this mod pack. Man, these mobs are crazy, right? Yeah, we even made some really OP armor later on the video, but even even still, man, these mobs, bro. Anyway, you, you'll see. You'll see, all right? But man, you, you got to play this smart, okay? Uh, although, how can we even prepare for this? Look, look at this. What the? What is this? Jungle Golem. Hi, buddy. Oh, my. What the? Oh, he sent a, he sent a freaking drone after me. A TNT drone. Are you kidding? Get out of here. Ow, ow, ow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Woo! A Reaper. What the? Okay, this is like worse than crazy crap. Well, let's just uh, keep going, yeah? Yeah, I was not <laughs> expecting that. A TNT drone, bro? Are you kidding me? You know, that, that's probably going to be a common theme throughout this video. You know, got to expect the unexpected when it, it comes to Josh Craft. We kept on exploring, you know. Surely there had to be some good stuff in this pack, you know, like some cool mobs or something that doesn't want to hurt us. But uh, we actually spawned in with this animal dictionary. And uh, this thing tells you all the cool animals in the game and, and where to find them and how you can actually tame them and stuff. So I decided to finally make my dream dreams come true and uh i tame my own elephant all right we're looking for elephants big elephants what does an elephant look like it's kind of like uh, a little elephanty all right let's go try and tame it <gasps> so deep oh, oh my no. gosh <laughs> no now they're all mad so look what you did look what you did man i was trying to take that oh my gosh <laughs> That elephant ran over and started eating the branches. Maybe he's a hungry hippo. Oh, he said, I got it! Yes! Nice. Oh my gosh, I just tamed an elephant. This is my first time. Hold on, let me say hi, what's up? Oh, he loves me. I'm riding it, boys. I'm riding an elephant. I feel like a king. You know, it's actually funny. I've ridden an elephant in real life before at a zoo. I don't think you Doesn't can work. run an elephant. So how are you going to keep it? All right, well, anyways, I'll be back for you soon. All right, see you later. Man, it, it hurts to say it, but I had to leave behind my beautiful elephant, you know? But we oh wanted to see gosh, what else was out there. And the elephant was just too slow, man. After raiding a village in the yeah. desert, we ran into one of the most unlikely oh, bosses. Nice. I can honestly say I, uh, I never it's thought I'd see this in Minecraft. Hello, sir. Oh my gosh, it's, it's Tiger King. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Guess what, mother... <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, what? King. Wait, what? Tiger King. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> No way. I did not know that's what that was. I was expecting an actual tiger. Let's kill him. Where are the tigers? Oh, he spawns tigers. He spawns tigers. He's coming after me, boys. Kill Tiger King. Look at him. He's got these poor animals in cages. Oh, my God. I killed him. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, battling Tiger King in Minecraft was something I never thought I'd find myself doing. The crazy part was the structure Tiger King spawned in literally had iron blocks everywhere. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Josh, isn't that kind of OP just to steal all these iron blocks? And it, the answer is... Yeah, 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 and and no, no, you, you see, it would be if it was like normal Minecraft, but yeah, this isn't normal Minecraft, man, this is heavily modded Minecraft, and there are so many different super expensive modded items that you can craft in this, and a couple blocks of iron really isn't that much, so we grabbed what we could, and we continued exploring. Oh, it's another monkey, it's got a red face, never seen that before, it's kind of creepy low-key. You're just a butcher of animals. I'm gonna call PETA on you. Not even. Whoa, what's that? We spotted this interesting looking structure with a bunch of hearts spewing out of it, so we went to go check it out, and it turns oh out there was a princess who was in distress and, and needed saving. The princess! Oh my gosh, we just saved- I call her! <laughs> Luckily, the boys came in clutch, and we saved the day. Sadly, though, the, the princess rejected all three of us. I can give you uh, something. Wait, short killer? Guys, oh, guys. no. Water. Sodi, water. 
Oh, what, what the? We continued our journey to find a good spot to build, and uh, of course, we ran into many different creatures I had never seen before. And eventually, though, we made it to the great blue ocean. Now, this isn't your average ocean. In fact, if you decide to play along, you will quickly realize that this is perhaps the most active ocean you've ever seen. Not only were there tons of different underwater creatures, but there were so many different structures, uh, including pirate ships. And, and these pirates, uh, they have guns. Yeah, yeah, these, these pirates, oh, you, you gotta be prepared if you're gonna try and steal from their ships. These guys are super tough to fight, you know? But we really didn't know that yet. So, uh, you know, we built some boats and began crossing the ocean. All right, boys, to the oceans. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, oh, what's just that? be prepared. Right there, right. We rode for a while, taking the loot from some simple structures, and uh, well, it grew dark fast. And there were a bunch of annoying birds that wouldn't leave us alone. Not the good kind of birds, like like girls, you know, like just just evil ones. And <laughs> we came across this pretty docile ship, and so uh, we, we looted it. There, there didn't seem to be too much loot, but we were able to take the wool from the ship and craft a sailboat, and uh, we could all fit in that. So it was much faster too. So that was it. <laughs> this is awesome. Who's controlling it? Uh, not me. Okay, cool. Where are we going? All right, Hacky. All right, boys, we gotta all sing the row song. It goes like this. Row. 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 What? Row. We just all say row. 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 Why don't we, why don't we go? Sody's so out of two. Row, row, row. Ready? <laughs> On the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Row. 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 Who's so <laughs> delayed? Who's so delayed? You're delayed. You are, Hacky. You're you saying are. So late. After doing some high-speed sailing, we eventually ran into a pirate ship, and uh, this time it was overridden with pirates, and uh, that means th there had to be some good loot on that ship, right? All right, board, boys, board. Oh my! What? what Captain Agmer! All right, someone build up. Get out of the way then. Board, go, 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 go! Attack! Be careful! They're trapped chests. They're trapped chests. Be careful! I think we gotta kill the boss, guys. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, they got guns. They got guns. Oh my gosh. I killed them. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Anyone got explosives? Oh, guys, help. They're coming out. They're coming out. Oh no. I'm gonna have to jump. Oh. This is not going good! This is not going good! I'm gonna try and make an emerald sword. Yeah, well, they were tougher than we oh had thought. It's and shoot. things weren't going so well. <laughs> I've got weight! I'm gonna drown. No! No! Don't you- Oh, my totem saved me. That was such a close call. No way. No, you stupid pelican! As much as we wanted to take the pirates' loot, we- we weren't strong enough to, at all. And so we had to retreat until we got stronger. And ah, this right. wasn't looking good though. It looked like a storm was brewing and a real nasty one too. And, and well, it was fitting, I suppose, because what happened uh, the next couple of days was truly wild. I've never seen anything like this stuff, man. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try to narrate everything that happens because it, it, just sit back and enjoy us absolutely getting harassed by these crazy mobs. Oh, boys run. What the? What is this? I'm gonna attack it from behind. It's a mutant skeleton. Oh gosh, what the? So <laughs> attack it. Attack. Oh my gosh. It flings you so far. Jeez. Oh, it's got the creeper. What? Oh. No. This is not good. Not good! It's dropping the creeper on me! It's dropping the creeper on me! Oh no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I gotta run! I gotta run! I gotta run! I gotta run! No! Find some leather already. What the? Are you are you seeing what I'm seeing? What? Why does it? It's like a biometric spider. It's so scary looking. <laughs> You're dead. You're trash, kid. You're trash. All right, I say we go this way. What? Northeast. What Watch out for this ravine. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> heck? No, no. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. No. Whoa, swamp monster. Ew, he nasty looking. Look at this man. Loki looks kind of sad. Maybe he just needs a friend. Hey, buddy. I can be your friend. Go give him oh, hug. actually, you slimy. Never mind. Oh, feisty. Go check out that. Yeah. Life lesson, kids. Don't be slimy. 
You don't have any friends. Oh, yeah, that was wild, man. I mean, finally, though, we, we got a bit of a break from all the madness and found this nice little village in the swamp. And of course, though, this is uh, Josh Craft. And well, if you're lucky enough to find yourself in uh, a time of peace, just know it's not going to last long. Yeah, one word, tigers. And I'm not talking about, like, the, the old... Wait, wait that's cool. No, wait. I, tigers. Oh, oh my gosh. The claw me, the claw me. So, you're just gonna stand there and eat? Yeah. Oh gosh, oh my, what the? I don't know what just happened. I, I, I literally. I really thought that was gonna be the end of me, but I survived the tiger attack. It just, just barely. It's, it's cool now though, because now I can say I, I bravely fought a group of tigers and won. So, you know, ladies. I'm just saying. So, uh, oh yeah, in the same biome, we happen to find pandas. Which, bamboo? dude, these these guys are so cute. Hi, panda. You like the bamboo? Is it yummy? There you go. Good panda. I got a panda. <laughs> All right, boys, let's go. He's trying to drown his panda. He did try to drown it. It's floating back up. How dare you? I knew he'd float. I was testing his buoyancy. That's. I heard pandas were buoyant. Hey, look, Sodia oh, brought your deer to sacrifice. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know what this thing is chasing me, though. Oh, what the? <laughs> we found this underground village like I did in my 100 Days Modded VR Minecraft video. Go, go check that out. But this one was special because you, you don't see this every day, man. Oh, my God. What the? Yes. Are you kidding me? What am I looking at? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, so bad. Oh, look at all these special ores. There seemed to be a ton of sick ores down there, and so, well, I yeeted myself down there, and, yep, uh, it, it was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Oh. What the? Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, sir? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? What are these things? All right, we're just going to have to build. I bridged across the lava with wood. Probably not the best idea, again, but you know, I, I don't always have those. And then please water, please water. I met my match. Yeah, I got absolutely wrecked by this lava dude, man. Some sort of Vulcan guy or whatever. And listen, if you get the chance to play Joshcraft, I, I don't care if you're the best Minecrafter in the world. Like, like Dream or oh Mambo God. Jumbo or your, your mama, I don't care who you are. Good Good luck on. trying to survive more than 10 days without dying, okay? Nearly Ooh. impossible. <gasps> it's a cockroach. Hey guys, look what I got. A new pet. No. Yeah, Please. Oh Cockroaches are not pet. They're food. Roachy 2.0. These nuts. Coin dragon. And I got a leprechaun. And I got a leprechaun hat. What the boys? I put this hat on and now I'm talking like a bloody Irish man. <laughs> Where's the pot of gold at the end Where of the Where's the pot of gold? Oh, look at this. I was right though. These caves were filled with tons of valuable resources and loot and... Yeah, we had to fight really hard for it, but uh, it was worth it. And eventually we did make it out alive. And oh man, feeling the sunlight, that that felt good. Something I don't really get to see in real life because you know, I, I'm i making all these videos which take like a million years to edit. And you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, just if you subscribe, I would just really appreciate that. It, it would really mean a lot. But anyways, we had been traveling for what seemed like forever, way too long, but we just hadn't found that perfect spot to build. We, we did find this cute little duck with a little duck on its back and Oh, you won't believe what happens though. Oh, it's got a baby duck on her back. Oh, what? Why? You're gonna attack me after he commits that? Okay, someone tell me how I'm the one who gets attacked by a flying evil demon when Sodi's the one who literally just killed that poor baby duck, okay? You know what? It's fine. I'm not a sword dyer or, or whatever, right? Anyways, we found this dark night tower from the mod Dystopia. Now, if you find one of these, make sure you mark it or something because, listen, these knights can drop something really special called a dead tulip, which is what you need to use to make a portal to Dystopia, the, the dimension Dystopia, all right? So, uh, yeah, it, uh, adorably cutifulness, that would be the word I would use to describe these little duckies we found. We all picked one up and snapped a quick pic for the gram. Make sure you go follow me. And then we found it. The perfect place to call home. Now, now you might not be able to see it just yet, but to me, this place was the perfect spot to build. So we cleared out some gators and got right to building. Here's what I ended up with. Epic building montage. Go! Oh. 
this is coming together. I was pretty satisfied with my build. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hopefully, you know, you, you don't hate it. But uh, we decided to call this the City of Crafting. Has a nice little ring to it, right? And now that we had our houses set up and a place to call home, we could begin diving into mods, the, the fun stuff. My first order of business was to set up a simple storage network, which is a storage system that is really crucial early game if you're playing with a lot of mods. And I, I thought it would be a good idea to offer my services to my neighbors, since I, I'm sure Sodi and Hacky don't know how to set one up for themselves. Hello, anyone home? Hey, what's up? Got an offer for you. In exchange for some materials to build my own, I will build you a simple storage network. All right. What is your proposal? I'm just going to need some really some iron and a little bit of redstone. I can do just that. Oh, you guys are underground again? Oh, hacky. Speaking of that, man, I need to talk to you as well. So for a small price of three diamonds, I yeah. will install a simple storage network. I'm going around installing them around the neighborhood. So I figured I'd let you know, you know, try and help you out, see you some... Yeah, all right. I crafted all the parts I needed to set up the storage system, and if you aren't sure how to set it up, I've, I've done it a couple times in my old videos, so you can check those out, or you can just Google it. But anyways, now that I have my system set up, it was time for me to go oh, mining yeah. so I could yeah. craft Sodi's and Hacky's system. And interestingly enough, when I was in the caves, I came across this chest oh that gosh, had dragon eggs. eggs. Yeah, what? yeah. I was getting... super excited. I couldn't believe I just found real? dragon eggs in a chest, and I couldn't wait to hatch my very own dragon, if that was possible, of course. Heather dragon egg? <laughs> if I... If if this is, if I can turn this into a dragon, I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, it's one of you guys. Oh, try to punch me. What the hell was him with the right hook? Oh, jeez. You're dead. This was actually a really good cave run. I even found this. Am I uh, seeing this right? Look at look at this. This cool. Totem ore. totem or what? <laughs> I just mined a totem. How was that possible? Now that I had everything I, I needed, I went around the neighborhood and installed their storage systems and made sure they knew how to, you know, upkeep it in case they ran out of storage. Knock, knock. Who is it? Hacky? It's uh, Josh with uh, Simple Storage Networks. Hello? Oh, hey yeah. there, bud. It's Josh with Simple Storage Networks. Oh, Josh. I've been expecting you today. I got your uh, storage request table and everything. Got your stuff here ready to go. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Come oh, on thanks, in. bud. So, you know, just about finished up here. All right, bud. She's pretty Pretty much done there's just one more thing i want to quickly go over everything for you so you know how to upkeep her you know yeah so this chest right here you can upgrade this into an iron chest for more space as well as a golden chest which can be upgraded into a diamond chest and a crystal okay. chest bud yeah other than that man you, you should be good to go and that's really it bud sweet sounds good thank you very much yeah no worries enjoy she's all done hope you enjoy her simple storage network out my name's josh i'm with uh, simple storage networks and i appreciate your service thank you Welcome, bud. Block me in my Enjoy. Own. Ah, another day's work. Feels good. I think the community's starting to really develop. You know? Okay, so since I'd gotten two of the same dragon eggs, I decided to give one away to Hacky or Sodi. I, I didn't know how to choose, so I made them play rock, paper, scissors for Here's the Here's what egg. I'm going to do. I'm going to make you guys play rock, paper, scissors, all right? All right. How does this work? I don't know. Rock, yep. paper, scissors, go. Oh, oh. Sodi gets it. Way. Yeah, yeah, Sodi gets it. So we're going to do best of three or just best of three? All right, all right, fine, fine. Ooh, best of like three, best, best of three. three. All right, all right, ready? Rock, ready. paper, scissors, go. <laughs> uh. Oh, you threw a whole stack at me. He, he clubbed me. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Yay. Oh, you got one back I on gave. me. All right, ready, set, go. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. Boom. All right, Sodi gets it. And it looks like Sodi won. So, something you should know is it does matter where you try and hatch the egg, and specifically for Aether Dragons, you have to hatch them above Y level 170. And so I had to build up really, really high and build this little hatchery for the eggs. Place our dragons. All right. Don't know exactly how big they're going to be, but I guess we'll just place it. That. Ah. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure you just right-click each egg. So pick one. And then count of three, three, two, one. There Ooh. it goes. Doing something. Doing something. I present to you. <gasps> hey, they're dragons. All right, here you go, yep. Sodi. Here's a saddle. Yours, is a, yours right is a little hungry, by the way. I fed mine a little bit. All right, well, I'm going to try and tame him. How do you put the dragon uh, thing on there? I don't know. The dragons seemed to hatch pretty fast, but I had read that they weren't tameable until like three Minecraft days, which is about an hour. And so also at this point in the video, I didn't really know how to tame them, but I do figure it out pretty soon. In the meantime, Hacky was showing us how we could get our very own exotic birds with these mystery eggs you find throughout the world. And it's it's not illegal in Minecraft, Put so... Put your bird egg in the green one. Thank you, Bitters. Whoa. It takes redstone, huh? Aw, you got nothing. Aw. What? Right, There's so nothing in there? Turn into eggshells, egg shell. Yeah. <sighs> Let's, let's yeah, try mine. It's a chance you get eggshells. <laughs> Here we go. 
I just wanted oh, a little no. pet birdie. I hope mine is in eggshells. I hope it is. I hope it comes out with three heads. What? Guys, oh, oh, dang it. No way. On, I have the stuff for it. Give me something good. No, Swan we did it. Egg. Ooh, so if, Swan. You, uh, if you want, you can try to hatch it right away. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, a Bugger gigger. You know those little birds you see at Petco? No. That's what that is. Oh. Or at PetSmart? If you go to PetSmart and stuff, those little birds, that's it. That's what Do you that see is. it in the cage? I see it in the cage. I don't, but I'm sure it's there. It's on my screen. That's all that matters. I tried to give you a mystery egg. I didn't know you were going to get eggshells. So, you have a choice between these two eggs, left or right, and whichever mm. one you choose, I'll, I'll give to you. Turn around. Oh, look at the. Okay. All right, I pick left. Left? All right, yep. you get the swan egg. Oh, that's the one you I didn't want. want. A Sweet. You want a cage for your macaw? Macaw! Uh, sure, yeah. I don't know you. if you can. Hey, I got a swan! Oh, nice. So What's I up, think buddy? You can feed them a bird seed if you want to set it down real quick. Wait, so where do I keep oh. this bird? So cage, with the cage, the it's kind of like down. a monster ball. <gasps> Yes! Sweet. Sweet! I got a swan! Thanks, guys! After doing some research, I finally figured out you need raw fish in order to tame your dragon. And so I went and gathered some fish so I could finally tame my very own dragon! Alright, come here, dragon. It's working? Oh no, how many? <gasps> yes! I got another got dragon! I think I, I think a subscriber deserves a name. I'm, on, I'm gonna name after a subscriber. So you should do the same. Hey, I want to give back to the people who subscribe to me because it really does mean so much. And so I decided I wanted to name my dragon after a subscriber, but I did have to wait until I find a name tag. So I will be choosing someone very soon. So, so just wait a second. But in the meantime, we set up some waystones and Sodi found this cool pirate chest. But it was locked and well, Haki decided to yoink it. But there's good loot in it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gone now, Sonny. I knew he I guess your problem is gone. Now you don't really have to go find keys, right? That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. <laughs> oh, I see your bird. His name Kiki. Kiki. Kiki, do you love? It was time to get to work, though, and we had a lot more goals we still needed to accomplish. Ultimately, we wanted to craft an angel ring, which grants you creative flight, but in survival. But to make that, you need an elytra, and so we figured it was best to first start out by making jetpacks, which could really help us, especially since we want to visit all these different cool dimensions and, you know, fight their bosses. So, so we got to work on building a factory. Now, I would do a quick building montage, but just as we began to work on the factory, we realized we could now finally put the saddle on a dragon and fly them. <gasps> My dragon took the saddle. <gasps> I'm on him. <laughs> Yo, no way. I can fly it in either dragon. Oh, this is so sick. Flies so good as well. Yo, oh, this is awesome, man. I, I like these. Oh, yo, whoa, yo, what's whoa. Up? yo, isn't this sick? Dude, this is amazing. Woo Dude, are you kidding me? This is awesome. Let's go pull up to Hacky like that. These dragons actually handle really, really good. And I don't think I told you guys this, but I rented a server for this, you know, to make this video, right? And I even paid for like a really expensive option and it was still super laggy. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed in the beginning, but I decided to set up my old PC to run the server and dude, it worked way better. It was way smoother. It basically had zero lag and it made no, it so much more fun for us to play on. Anyways, though, a lot of you guys asked for more time lapses. So don't worry, I got you. Here's us finishing the factory. We had pretty much finished setting up the factory, and so now we just needed to begin filling it with all the modded machines, and, and for now we just powered uh, the basic machines from Mechanism with a wind turbine, but eventually we wanted to test out the newly updated reactor mod called Extreme Reactors, an updated version of the old big reactor mod, which I'm sure you guys know generates tons of power, so I was hoping that that didn't change. Since I've shown you guys Mechanism in my old videos, I let Hacky learn how to do that and set those up, and meanwhile I dived into the mod I have never really shown on this channel ever and that is Project E. Project E is an updated version of the old equivalent exchange mod, which considering
wondering how much time we have for this challenge and what we want to accomplish, yeah, this is going to help big time. You start out by crafting a Philosopher's Stone in order to make a transmutation tablet and you know, you just, just so watch. So now that we have the transmutation table and the Philosopher's Stone, we can go ahead and place this down here just like that and now we can access this here. Now, I believe if we put anything that has an EMC value in it, it'll give us some EMC and we will learn it and so that means now if we throw something like diamonds in there, I'm pretty sure we could take out like more dirt now because diamonds has more emc it's almost like a currency yep so now you can see here we have 140,000 emc each dirt costs one we could do this for let's say iron and now i could take out like two stacks of iron <laughs> as much iron as i want uh <laughs> which I'm now realizing this is uh, really kind of OP. It's going to help us a lot. Okay, yeah, it definitely seems like it's a, it's a bit OP, but listen, at the same time, in order to even take anything out, you have to put EMC or other items in. So really, I think it's a fair trade-off, and it's also super helpful if you're playing with a, a lot of mods. And after showing the boys how the table works while Sodi began crafting everything needed for the wireless power with the Flux Network mod, and Hacky gathered more charcoal with his auto-smelting enchanted axe that he had gotten, which we were going to need tons of coal in order to make the parts for the extreme reactor well i begin watching youtube videos on how to even make this thing and, and like i said this was all updated and, and so i wasn't sure how it worked but i ended up figuring out that it's pretty much the same as the old big reactors version it just had updated textures and crafting recipes which was fine with me as you know as long as it generates a ton of power because you know we we need we're gonna need that Th then you know i'm happy and so i begin setting up the reactor and now you could go the cheaper route and make some basic casings and whatnot but if you want to generate more power like i do then you're gonna want to upgrade to reinforce casings and not only that but if you use diamond blocks in the center as a coolant it produces even more power and so finally finally i had set it all up and it was time to see if this thing worked and uh i hope to notch it didn't blow up now we just got to turn around you ready three yep two moment of truth one boom there it goes explodes imagine i know <laughs> that would actually be hilarious what if it blew a huge crater in everything we just built we already have 3.1 million Dang. Now that we had the reactor set up, all we had to do was set up the wireless power network and make sure it was set up to allow power to go straight into our inventories. Now, this is key because if you have something like a jetpack or anything like that, which Haki was kind enough to make us the basic iron ones, uh, then it will literally magically transfer yep. power to your jetpack while in your inventory, which is super nice because then you don't have to worry about charging it or, you know, just randomly falling to your death or something. And then I made some travel anchors to get around to everyone's buildings much quicker. And then I noticed that there was this item from the mod Cyclic which allows you to teleport from anywhere in the world right back to wherever you placed your bed last. And, and that just seemed like such a clutch item to me, so, you know, I had to make it, but it required a crystallized amber, which seems kind of difficult to make, but I guess it's really not. You just need a melting chamber and a solidification chamber, and basically use the melting chamber to melt down magma cubes and then transfer the magma into the solidification chamber, and then using this recipe here, you should get yourself some crystallized amber, and boom! Now you can craft the uh, Enderwing Prime. Now, just like that, we should be able to teleport to our bed from wherever whenever we want let's see if it works let's go i've never made this before. oh it's got a cooldown. okay sweet well that's fine man that's gonna save me from a lot of sticky situations you know and uh, in case i ever get lost which you know it happens to the best of us so this is gonna be great okay yep this uh was definitely gonna come in handy the ender wing prime but uh i guess while i was making that hack he managed to make himself a mining laser and yeah it even looks like this thing's updated too what wait try actually like an ore Oh, that ore happened to be an ore right there. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. But that looked fast. You guys know I had to make one for myself. These things are super useful. And honestly, they're not even that hard to craft. And now that we had the extreme reactor cooking us up all that juicy power, uh, it was it was perfect. And, you know, I felt like we were really advancing now. I needed to upgrade the mining laser, though. And so I took my dragon on a little trip him. to go snag some emeralds from the totem's eyes. And you want to know why? Well, because... Uh, yeah, emeralds give you a lot of EMC. I know, genius, right? I was able to craft pretty much all the upgrades I needed for the laser, you know, like fortune and inefficiency and all that sort of stuff. And just like that, we got a super OP mining gadget. Let's head down here real quick. All right, let's test this thing out. How good is it? Let's see, ready? Okay, that's pretty fast. All right, I set it to three by three. Let's try it again. Oh, whoa, what is this animation? Yo, this is sick. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. The mining laser was great, but you, you know what's even better? An upgraded diamond jetpack. And boom, diamond jetpack. Now we need to make it armored, which just takes a diamond chest plate. And now I have an armored diamond jetpack. Let's see how fast this thing is. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit faster, you could say. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh 
man. This is sick. Oh, dude, this is great, man. This is great. Are you kidding me? Woohoo! All right, maybe we go try and find my dragon. Yes, there you are. What's up? I totally didn't leave you here, man. Not, no, don't think that. Don't assume that. Yeah, the jetpack was awesome. And after all that hard work, I was uh, in a little bit of a sneaky mood, you know? Just, I had the itch, the little, little trolling itch. And so I made this cloak of invisibility, which makes you really invisible. Like, there's zero particles. And, and so I headed over to Sodi's house to mess Yo. with him. Oh. Ah, lapis. Now I have it. All right, I, have I placed this little worm on his bed and started making sounds to get him to come upstairs and uh, <laughs> just watch what happens. It's pretty funny. What the? What the? Aki, do you hear that? What? Something in my house. Something in your house? Someone. Someone? What the? Oh, I found it. It's a little silkworm. He was up here making a weird noise. Wouldn't surprise if it was Josh. Nah, wouldn't be him. What about Light Placer? Places torches whenever the surrounding light level is lower than 8. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, it takes a lot of stuff though. Alright, well, um, uh, it doesn't make any sense. How'd he do that? What the heck? What the heck? It's all block. I think Josh is invisible. Josh? What the, what is this? No. Come upstairs. Come here. What is that? Eh, that looks like a weenie. <laughs> oh, I heard him. I, I heard Josh. He's in you. here. Yeah. He's a block. <laughs> He's right here somewhere. Dude, look at that. It's a freaking weenie, dude. Oh, why isn't that melting over there, Josh? This is a weenie too! He just made a whole bunch of weenies in my house. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> alright, alright, enough trolling. For now, anyways. But, uh, you know, we haven't even gone to the nether yet, Yo, and I up, wasn't Cody? sure what that was going to be like yeah, since it's modded, upgrades. and so I decided to play safe and craft a fire charm from Cyclic, which makes you immune to fire damage. It was perfect. And then we all hopped in the nether and began exploring. Yeah. Oh, I can't get in! What in the world? You know, at first you'd think this is a good place to be. I'm sure it's not. I don't know about good. Oh, there's diamonds in here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Grab Bro, I just got 17 yeah. diamonds. Ow. Oh, oh he's getting attacked. I dare you. Oh, he's juking. Got him. <laughs> what does that? Oops. There's a dungeon right here. What? Is that a floating dog? Oh, no. Yeah. I cannot oh, see. Uh... Golden apple. Name tag, yes. That's what I really wanted. Yo, that's a special looking thing, bro. Is this the boss? Oh. I'm blind. Another name tag. Oh, creeper, creeper, watch out. All right, this place sucks. It's it's looted. Where'd Sody yeah. go? I don't know. All right, well, I'm kind of ready to go back. Me too. Yeah, is there anything we actually need in the nether? I think there's some bosses in here. But no, I needed some nether brick is about it. We headed back to the overworld, and now that I had a name tag, it was time to finally name my dragon after a subscriber. All right, we're going to name you Official RZ. Thank you so much for the comment, man. He said, no on, like the video, got my snacks and a drink, in for a great video. I'm super proud of how far you've come, Josh. Since only a few thousand subs, you've made such amazing content. Great work, my guy. Here's to 500K and then a million. What a, what a nice Nice comment, man. Check out his name. Official, Official RZ. RZ. Great oh, subscriber, man. He left a comment on my video. Good, oh, good, good man. Good man. Dude, what a great comment. Like, I really appreciate that, man. Like, seriously, I, I put so much work into these videos, and that comment really meant a lot. But, yeah, anyways, after I made some silky boots giving me immunity to fall damage, Hacky said that he had uh, something to show us. He's up All right, the dragon thing. You want one? Oh, is that, is that just a pet? You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. What the? I'm not moving. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I had no idea what was going on. He had some sort of pet that I legit don't even know. I guess it just like blasted some dubstep and launched us away or something. But yeah, you guys remember all the modium armor and tools that that was like super OP? Well, I figured since uh, we were about to fight a bunch of different bosses, it was probably a good time to make some better armor. And all the modium armor seemed to be the best option. Now, You'll see later on that, well, uh, let's just say these bosses must be really, really strong to do what they did. But anyways, all the modium only spawns under the 
ocean from like Y level 5 to 45 or something like that. So yeah, I had my work cut out for me and uh, it took me a while, but eventually oh, I spotted cool. that one. beautiful shiny yellow ore called yes, all the money. And I was able to mine it with my mining laser. Now, I thought I was a genius because I made a digital miner which can find any specific ore in the world and mine it wirelessly. And since all the money and more was so difficult to find, I tried to hack this system and use the miner to find it for me. But yeah, it didn't work sadly. But you know, it's okay because what I did next with the all the modium was just as genius, okay? I put the all the modium ore in the enrichment chamber, which allowed me to get two ingots from one ore and use one ingot to craft all the modium side potions. And then I used the other ingot to make the portal to the mining dimension where all the modium ore spawns a lot more frequently. And then I used the ore side potions to allow me to spot all the modium ore much quicker. And after getting a bunch, well, let's just say I arrived back home to a, a hot mess. Y yeah, Sodi's house caught on fire. Sodi, no! What happened? No, I have no idea. Just all these things came. Oh no! What did you do? I think you've been cursed. It's a good thing you made your way up to OSHA standards, right? Fireproof? Uh, something like that. Oh, Sody, it's a goner. I got a plan, but you might not like it. What? Vane mined the leaves away from the house. It's too much. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, we tried everything, but the fire was spreading faster than we could put it out, man. Or so. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna burn the whole forest down. Your dragon, save your dragon. I'm feeding it. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh oh, God. Oh no, this whole forest is gonna catch my house on fire. Oh, we have a bigger problem, Sony. This is not good. Well, yeah, it's not that bad. I'm sure we could, uh, you know, just, you know, put a couple, uh, you know. I don't even know what's uh, left uh, of this thing. You know, it's, it's brand new again, you know? This was my home, Josh. I worked so hard to build this thing. Well, uh, you have an extra room? What do you mean? This place isn't too bad. I gotta I'll say, man, so do you. Hacky? Oh, you missed it. Yeah. Let's just say his house burnt down. God, your house <laughs> burnt down. I... <laughs> Well, I was three by three mining, and then these monsters came up, and I was like, oh, perfect. I'm going to mine all the way down to the bottom so I can kill them and get a whole bunch of XP so I can enchant something, right? And then I finally go up to my house, and next thing you know it, I see lava rising. I could not believe it. I pop back out. I look back down. Boom. House on fire. And then I called Josh for help, and it just spread so quickly. And Luckily, well, we were able to all, save it before there was too much damage. Oh, yeah. This thing, yeah. yeah. Quick Maybe little fixer-upper. Storage just close the windows thing. that way. You let, don't let too much oxygen in. That that makes fires worse. Oh, thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. I went to go craft everyone some all the modium armor in hopes to lighten the mood after what just happened and uh, cheer Sodi up. All right, well, Sodi, since your house burnt down and everything, here, here's a gift that hopefully will cheer you up, man. Some OP armor. Oh, you too, I like what I see. How do I look, eh? Yeah. Tell me I'm looking fresh, bud. Tell me I'm looking fresh. Oh, you there. looking mighty fine there. No, bud. Tell me I'm looking fresh, eh? You're looking fresh. Thanks, bud. Oh, I, I like this oh. armor. Well, it, it seemed to work. He seemed a bit happier. And then yeah, I enchanted the armor and got multi-jump, which was cool. I, I've never had this yeah. before. Multi-jump five. So if I take off my jetpack. Oh. What? Are you serious? <laughs> I can jump so high. As Saki explored what sword option would be the most OP and the best for us, I decided, okay, no. you know, we were about to start exploring other dimensions, and the first one we wanted to visit required this cave portal igniter, and well, not only did it require a nether star, it, it also required a heart of the sea, which I had never even heard of before, but I, I guess they only spawn in treasure chests that you can find by locating a sunken ship and then finding a treasure map. So, the hunt was on. Looking for a buried treasure map. Whoa! There's tools in the ice. Wait, what? Pirate speed pistol. <gasps> I got their pistol. Let's go. Let's see how good it works. Hey, uh, seal. <laughs> what is that motion? Run, buddy. <laughs> Run, buddy. Oh, he's on his belly. I can't. Yes, a buried treasure map. That's what I needed. All right, let's find this place. All right, we're getting somewhere. Right where this seal is? Say less, my friend. Yes, there's a chest. And we got a heart of the sea. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? It actually worked. Man, we 
got a water dragon egg? Yes! I was thinking we were only gonna get other dragons for a second. Oh my gosh. This is a success. Yes, I did it. I found it. I teleported back home and, and well, now we just needed to slay a wither. And I guess our best sword option seemed to be the one from Project E. And Hacky was kind enough to craft it for me, but of course, you know, I had to pay him back. These things were not cheap. You can also upgrade them, which we'll do in a second, but yeah, yeah, we headed back to the nether to go kill some withers and these swords did about 18 attack damage. If you upgrade them, I think it does like 24, but we'll do that soon. Anyways, after slaying some withers and stealing their heads, well, uh, we got ready to kill the wither with, uh, you know, you know, a little, little jakey poo, you know, a little, little jakey poo. But, uh, before we, you know, fight it, I, uh, got something special for us to partake in, you know? We, we might die, so I think we should get a, you know, a good little drinky poo in, you know? A good little drinky poo. All right, boys, cheers. 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 Now, what do you say we just, you know, get him right on and, oh, brother, I'm a <laughs> bird, I'm trying to fly, and the wither's coming, the wither's coming, oh, the wither's coming, oh, somebody oh, oh, help me, the wither's coming here, <laughs> I'm feeling it, boys, I'm The wither! I'm a bit dizzy, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah! 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 Take a couple arrow shots. Oh, I'm hitting it. I'm hitting that thing. You're wrecked. Right. It's chasing me, man. Oh, I'm wrecking it. Get bowed. Okay, better back off. It's almost dead, boys. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Nice. Woo. Did you get the nether star? Of course I got the nether star. Nice. All right, we can make the portal igniter now. Yeah. The cave dimension. Sweet. Good job, guys. Yeah, thanks. Hey, whoa, whoa. I didn't ask for no laser <laughs> surgery, chill. We did it. We defeated the wither, and I was able to craft the cave portal igniter. Now we just had to make the portal, which is literally just a normal nether portal shape with polished diorite. And then you just right-click okay. it with this cave world portal igniter, and, uh... Oh, it worked. Ooh. What do you know? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, this is weird. Okay, hold on. Let's set a let's set a waypoint here. Uh, so um, what's in this dimension? Oh, I see a blue pig. Ah, blue pig. Are you friendly? Cave nope. Oh, he's flying though. What the cave you dropped silver, cave silver. Pork chop. Bro, what? you can make a, a 15 attack damage sword with this. Alright, let's look around for some sort of thing. Yeah, so this is the cave rule from the mod Villagers and Monsters Legacy. This mod adds a lot of different bosses and dimensions and, and flying pigs, but we'll get to that later. Uh yeah, things are about to get real interesting. What are you? A uh, Yakoa. He seems kind of friendly. What is this? What the Whoa! He was wobbling! My boy wobbling! And he's dead. It's a two-headed troll guy. Interesting. Oh, he dead now. He dead. And these are some weird-looking pigs. Got horns coming out of them. Saber-toothed pig. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. The reason we're in the cave world is because in order to get the pig end, you have to kill a ghost miner and get a mining pearl, and you also have to kill a hydra and get hydra's leather so you can craft the pig end portal igniter. So that's what we were on the hunt for. Hydra boss block. Look, there's a boss thing right here. Oh, what the? I think we just break it, but I don't know. Are we? You got? You guys got golden apples ready? Uh. I won. All right, ready? Okay, set. Oh my gosh! Three hundred dollars. Oh, it hit hard. Yeah, it hit, it hit hard. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost. Oh my gosh! Put a lot of totems in your inventory. Holy cow! It's too smart. I'm attacking it. I'm going in. It's distracted. Oh! Attack! We got him. We go! Oh my gosh! Woo! I almost died. Nice. Oh, I'm taking heavy damage from what? That, he did What'd a lot get? of damage. I got a whole bunch of Hydra leather, and that's it. Oh, sweet. I got a mining pearl. I got one. Oh, we can, I can make the portal thing. You can? The, the pig one? Yeah. Then we can get to the pig end dimension. That's like a really hard boss. Like, if you think that boss was hard, which was pretty much one-shotting us. Oh, yeah. Pig end portal igniter. Drop me, and I'll make the, uh, I'll make it. There you go. You need three. Yeah, the hydro leather. Boom. Pig end portal igniter. Now that we had the pig end portal igniter, we just needed fragile stone, which is what you use to build the portal. We headed back to the overworld, and now we need to get a little more strong, considering we're about to fight a, bu a bunch of new bosses in the, in the pig end 
again, and so I decided to upgrade my Project E sword into a red katar, which is almost like Project E's version of a Paxel, except it works as everything but a pickaxe and a shovel. There we go. Red Katar, baby. Let's go. This thing's got 24 attack damage. Not as crazy as, uh, you know, the all the Modium Paxel here and Alloy Axe, which is one basically 1500 but uh it's gonna take us too long to get the unobtainium and all the modium i made some explosive arrows you know boom boom arrows and uh, oh oh i just i realized oh, before we head to the pig and we decided to fight this uh this giant purple boss castle we found that had like three bosses in it or something and yeah this turned oh, out to be wild man coming. you'd think uh we would be op at That's this point but days. nah nah okay oh, no. uh, you, you sit back and enjoy us trying not to die man have fun I, we, we suck Oh, what the? It just exploded. Oh, oh. oh, what the? That thing almost came right for me. Oh, guys, it's the boss. Hold on. Don't kill it in the, in the stuff. Don't kill it in the stuff. Bring it in here. Bring it in here. <laughs> oh, I think he gave me a beast. Let's we'll see. Let's go to the next boss. Yeah, it's the Arcanal Hound. We have one more boss, Asaku. This one might be the craziest one. Oh, he's right here! Holy cow! Ah! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, he's got 500 health. Oh, he looks scary! What is his face? Attack! Oh no, no, no. I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no. I'm spawning in my extra mounts. Oh, you got him? You got him. Nice. Oh no, I'm one heart. I'm one heart. I'm leaving. Whew. Yep, nope, that was a close one. I barely got Literally out of life. Look, one heart. That's not good. And yeah, I realized, uh, okay, so I guess I was a little bit off. Before we go to the pig end, we actually went to the normal end. So we, we went to find the strong cold. And because, you know, remember I said I wanted those angel rings to give us basically creative flight and survival? Well, uh, so we popped into the end and fought the dragon with our jetpacks. And hey, boys, I just want to yeah. say one thing. Well, I just want to wave. I just want to wave. That's all. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. The jetpacks made it a lot easier to fight the dragon, and so yeah, we slayed them pretty easily, dude. The, the dragon's like the least of our worries in this, okay? Yeah, we needed to find three different elytras for the boys, which took us some time, but we managed to get them, and yeah, man, check out how crazy this end is. Like, pretty cool if you ask me. you guys ever seen an end like this, man? Oh, my you guys I got a fart. I got a fart. And then we headed back to the overworld. a new journey. How do you right, do 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 do. We beat Minecraft. No, no, wait. We did not beat Minecraft yet. Maybe if this was vanilla, but this is heavily modded Minecraft, right? This is Joshcraft, all right? We still had a lot more work to do. You know what's cool, though? I got the end dragon egg, and so I was curious if I could hatch it. Imagine if you could have your own ender dragon pet. That, that would be awesome. But while I waited to see if uh, it would hatch, I crafted the angel ring in. Well, uh, this is when uh, the disappointment kicked in. So does that mean I put this on? I have creative flight? The creative flight's not working. The angel ring. I can't fly with the angel ring for some reason. Neither can I. Yeah, I could not figure out for the life of me why this thing wouldn't work. It just, it did not work. And I did some Googling to s try and see why. And it seemed like it could have been a conflict with some of the mods or something. But honestly, who cares? At, at this point, you know, these diamond jetpacks were great anyways. Plus, uh, my baby ender dragon hatched. Oh my gosh, my dragon hatched. It's an end dragon. I really have my own end dragon. What the heck? Oh, there you go. Cool. You got it. Yay. Yay. Can you take a picture of me and this dragon? Three, two, one. Cheese. And then I realized that there was a special slot just for the jetpack so we could also wear the all the modium chest plate and still fly, which is going to help with these bosses we're about to fight. It was time we crafted the pig end portal and hopped into it, man. And uh, oh, right, this was a really a very <laughs> absurd dimension, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, it's, it's oh my cool. gosh, it worked. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Where are we? Uh, yep, this oh, is it feels uh, like the end. an interesting dimension. Oh, it does. What is this? Yo, what am I looking at here, man? Whoa, what? What am I looking at here, man? Oh gosh. It's so fast. What are these things? Why are they wobbling like that? Oh, it's, uh, it's a gold pig. Cool. Dude, what is this whale doing just floating? It has no, it has no business floating. It's got 100 health. Oh gosh, you might actually die from it. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I need a golden apple. 
Woo. That was a close one. It's a bunch of weird guys. Sky lizard? Yeah, the mobs in this world were, were pretty funny, I'll admit it. But I think there was like five different bosses that spawn in here. And, and the first one we found was called Dundas. This isn't the pig end one. The pig end boss is the hardest one. Oh gosh, it might still be bad. His name's Dundas. Dundas D's nut. <laughs> Why can't I hit him? Oh, here we go. It's only got 200 health. Let's go, boys. Wreck him. You're gonna die real quick, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna live and die real quick, bud. We got him pinned. Look at him. We got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Oh, yeah, buddy. It's up. It's draining. There he goes, bud. Where'd he go? Oh. What the? Got him. Oh, gosh. Oh, those are those are alive. Yeah, these things are weird. I guess that's why this is called the pig end, because it's like the end. Ah, it all makes sense now. The next boss we found was called Pigris. And now this guy wasn't really anything crazy, but he did drop a lot of XP and also some really good food that's better than even enchanted golden apples, okay? Which is gonna come in real handy when we fight these next all right, bosses. Alright, so that's not the big the hardest boss. It's called the pig end boss. Alright. So keep looking for that one in Midas. The next boss we found was some sort of dragon called a phantom or something. I didn't know there was Yep. R.I.P. Sodi. Dude, dude was a goner. You hate to see it, man. Like, he somehow just got Sody one died. shot. And so I decided to keep oh, my distance and uh, did my to best here, to avenge Sodi. from the bow. I'm out of arrows. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know about that. I have to do some flybys. Oh yeah, I was hitting him with that. You know, some good old-fashioned drive-bys. Little skilly pop, 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 skilly pop, pop, pop. And uh, Ooh, I took him out. I took out it. the Phantom Iron. Dude, it was insane how much levels I was getting from these bosses. Like, oh yeah, it was nice. But before we fought Water the actual elemental. pig oh, boss, which is big. the main boss of the pig end, we fought one last boss called Midas. And uh, this dude's AI, Here we go. he honestly sucked. It sucked, Drag, okay? Buddy, <laughs> uh, so we defeated him. But uh, yeah, this next oh. boss, oh man, the pig boss dude guy. What do you say we go for it, boys? <laughs> He's no joke. You, you'll see. We get one shot. There's so many. <gasps> oh no, I'm losing HP fast. Come on, you stupid pig! Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm losing HP fast. <gasps> oh! One health! Okay, that was way too close. Bro, these things are too OP! Like, what is this? Oh, this pigris pork chop is so OP. This was absolutely madness. It was so hard to even dead. hit the pig boss through all these other diamond and fine pigs that he would spawn in. Legit, this took us so long to, to like kill this guy. This dude was mad strong. I don't know if he's like eating a bunch of bacon or whatever, but this dude was strong, all right? So we had to be really careful, but we, we kept on fighting close, and boys, fighting. And eventually, we did it, man. We killed yes! the pig end nice. boss, successfully beating the pig end dimension. And the pig dropped something called the pig ambulate. And listen, well, I never thought I would be saying this ever but i guess today's the day pigs do fly oh what oh <laughs> i'm riding a pig Whee! how is this possible and any of us can fly it go try to fly you know it someone went, you know what someone Whee! told me the day pigs fly i do a face reveal Whee! dude this thing's sick can you pick it up oh i believe pigs can fly yeah i'm on a pig and i'm in the sky yeah if i fall in the void i might die but I'm on a pig and it can fly. We gotta fly that pig back. How far is this portal? I flew the pig back to the portal. I never thought I'd be saying that, but uh, <laughs> uh, just like that, we had our very own flying pet yes, pig. Yes. And we decided to keep him in the extreme reactor room because, I mean, uh, what's the worst that could happen, right? Anyways, it was time to visit the final dimension called Dystopia. Legend has it an evil lord of a seeker rules somewhere in this dystopia world. And Haki and Soli popping, and little old me were destined to fight it and free all of dystopia from his rule. Uh, okay, okay, you know what? We just flew around forever and eventually we found the Overseeker's Arena. This, my friends, is the Overseeker Arena. If you're smart enough, you'll turn around. If you're brave enough, you'll keep walking forward. Well, I'm stupid. Five! So. Attack! Oh, there's so many! There's so many! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die. I got the eagle, two chance of apples. Way too many! Attack! Oh, TNT! Come on. Oh no. Gotta eat. Let's go, boys! It's the final threat. It's the final boss! Here we go! Woo! Oh no! I'm gonna die. Holy cow. Look at all the mobs he spawned. Did you drop anything? A mask. Oh, it gives you night vision. Well, guys, did it, yeah, boys. That was, What'd uh, you get? Pretty intense, but, uh, you know, <gasps> we had it. Easy peasy. Overseeker Horn. Nothing could beat him, so he created this massive creature that could destroy everything. 
and it did. Now he lives in the room. And we did it, baby. What an epic journey this was. But uh, there was one more final thing we had to do. So I didn't get to ride my end dragon. I'm hoping the viewers won a 200 days and we continue it. I think there's so much more to do in this mod pack, you know? Josh Craft, it, it's, it's the best mod pack there is. I, I would say so. But we didn't even get the strongest armor in the game. No, we, we the have... strongest weapons. We, we still no. have so much stuff to we do. We have so, so much more to do. We can go back to. Yeah. This is a it nice was a, It was a great 100 days. I really enjoyed it. What do you say, boys? 250 likes and we continue Josh Craft. No, I think no, this no. is like the best mod pack. 250? 250? 250? 250? I promise. Thousand. I promise. I love this mod pack. I want to I wanna see it one more more time hey boys real quick got a drink for you guys a little drinky poo you know Ooh, all right boys what do you say we cheers to josh craft the city of crafting sounds good cheers boys oh. Cheers. Boys. Oh. hey hey man oh, that was a good man. time huh oh. that was a good series oh, yo my. yo sody sody you looking kind of cute oh whoa my. man what you put in there <laughs> He's got his little, his little oh, He's got a pecker. He's got a pecker. Hey, subscribe and go check out my other videos if you enjoy, you know, quality Minecraft content. And thank you so much for watching. It means the world. And until I see you next time, see ya.